When I make uh, peach jam, uh, it's not just peaches that are in here. There will be uh, elderberries. This is, um, and, uh, is from my husband and I's first apartment. It's, candy ginger. Uh, <laughs> it's a picture of us cuddling on the couch. Uh, and the reason why I keep it here is so kiwi it's a reminder fruit. Um, of how good it is. They all go into making the good. Uh, you know, there's, there's times Peach when you're running a house with um, with jobs and three kids and and all that kind of stuff that it's it's easy to take each other for granted. So one of my sisters um, said to her boyfriend, "We have to figure out a way to get out of here." And she always so, made the um, jam. So they came up with a plan, and, that, and that was to introduce me to start making the home. jam. Um, I'll, I'll make uh, one batch with, with the ginger. <laughs> And, uh, and stay here forever. Um, and unbelievably, they, they, they got it on the, on the first try. Meeting Matt was um, just not at all in my plan. Just not something I expected. I was, I was a traveler and, um, and I, was, I was actually only stopping over for a six month visit. So, oh, I'm 91, um, 91 meeting years old. a guy. I'm um, very fortunate to have been uh, born in Canada. My parents uh, were immigrants. Just I was born a on a farm person. down near um, Niagara Falls. But, uh, and, uh, meeting, so, meeting a guy uh, was great. Meeting a guy with a kid was scary. Uh, I was a dispatch um, but, two year old Julian was so cute. He was when I come home, I he was married a girl a that I had known for many years and we had and 57 was, wonderful years um, together and, and we ended up was, living in Kitchener. He was just Before I retired and since I've retired I've been uh, having a wonderful time with the young people encouraging them but to I didn't, uh, I didn't get a good to education. And, uh, my name is Laura McBride. I'm a stay-at-home parent and that's my number one thing that I do right now. I am a parent to three beautiful, wonderful children. We were raised as figure skaters and hockey players, and there was nothing really defined about, uh, about our roles as a woman. A lot of people, when I talk to them about, when I, when I, I tell them that I'm a stay-at-home parent, it's almost like they, they think I, it's something I should be ashamed of. There's no question. There's, there's a huge part of our culture that think that I've sacrificed um, by choosing to spend this time with my family. When you have a child, you start seeing the world as the world that they're going to walk around in. And, she and that becomes Canada. a really, really big deal. And became our governor to general. To my darling girl. So we've when got I was a young woman, prime ministers, governor generals. I wanted a teacher we've got to you all right here to, uh, to help to build this, uh, this wonderful country. When it came down to it, I never and really believed I would be a mother. I live years past, off West and I believe I saw my, my life path in front of me. And, uh, it would be wild and scary, but rich and adventurous. Falling in love with your dad and brother changed my path forever. And you, my darling girl, are my full circle. Different colors and the parents with them and kids that the parents had been fighting and disagreeing and the country they came from and where they were going back and forth to school with their with their children as opposed to, to become Canadian. So, so my wife did a painting and it hangs in Forest Hill School to to and she calls it to and from Forest Hill School. Uh, AGM. And I said no. And she wrote a poem. No, and she said no, no, I, I mean, promise if you go you don't have to join the board. And I said okay, and yellow, I, I would go. And but before I went, I wrote sight. in pen on my With hand, I will hair, not volunteer. Different voices on the air. They basically Young felt like they were closing small, up the neighborhood the association. It was all. done. Um, but we showed up, Mom and boy, uh, and that boy, that day, as you pass, um, the uh, the CFNA the went from two I'm members to ten. Knowing where you go. Um, so um, I, I didn't take over as chair that night. We actually had the guy that had been on the, at the chair position. Um, he agreed to stay on, but that didn't last long because he, uh, he had something going on, so he actually had to step down. A lot of the events that we came up with were just us identifying the types of people who lived in the neighborhood. So we know there are free. Oh, what can I always stand on guard for thee? We have 
We just weren't getting it. We were asking for it. So we just said, you know what? Why not, why not put up signs ourselves? What I hope to achieve by putting all of this in is um, I want my kids to grow up somewhere that they think is special. What if they had a constellation that was a butt? <laughs> but, but, but can I see this? And they called it butt net. Imagine if I, imagine if they could actually uh, uh, attach to your head. <gasps> I'm just, oh, I must have imagined it.